Hare from Ecom Tent, and we are talking about the upcoming AI Summit. We're doing an AI Business Summit, and Max is going to be a speaker. Welcome, Max. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about how you got into AI? Hello, um, very excited to be speaking uh, at the summit. So um, I got into AI when um, about six months ago, um, when I founded my business, Ecomtent. So it's a company focused on helping uh, Amazon sellers and e-commerce sellers to create content using generative AI. So I kind of left. I left Amazon. Um, I kind of saw what was happening in this in this generative AI space. And I kind of, at the time, had this belief, which I think now is not very controversial, but I kind of looked at it and thought, like, uh, I think in like one to two years, all of, or maybe slightly longer, maybe five, six years, all the content on marketplaces will be generated by AI. And I think we've gone in, I mean, the the speed that we've gone towards that I, has been like incredible. But um, yeah, that's kind of how I got into it all. You know, I saw your software, Ecomtent, when I was trying to figure out, and I had so many sellers asking me, hey, AI images, all of us were on mid-journey, Dolly, trying to create these images. And one of the big problems you have with AI images is that it's very hard to get text to show up. It's very mm -hmm. hard to take an image of an existing product and put yep. it in the background of, you know, change the background of it or something like that, right? And you have not only figured this out, but you've also developed software that allows sellers or anyone with a product uh, to change out the product and the background uh, in yep. a very simple, easy way. So this is going to be a game changer. But during the summit, you're going to be teaching us a little bit more about AI imagery. What do you think is important for people to learn about AI imagery? Um so I mean what I what I have kind of learned on, on my journey is that there's kind of two really important things to getting a great output. First of all, you obviously need a great model. Um you need a great AI model. So you talked about mid-journey of obviously like can can create fantastic imagery. Um we've been building our own kind of private model for e-commerce, as you said, which is kind of putting products into um, scenes and creating like new scenes with that product with people of any age, gender, ethnicity, et cetera. Um, and the second piece, which I think applies to everyone, I mean, obviously you, you kind of need to be building a AI startup for that one, is you need to have great inputs in terms of the prompt engineering. And we've um, uh, we've hired two prompt engineers who've been like really looking into this. And I think understanding how to communicate with these AI tools is super, is super important. Um, and uh, I think these are also quite universal. Obviously each model is slightly different, but um, generally there's a, um, there's a really interesting kind of research that's going on about how, how do you interact with these tools to get, get the best output. And um, I'm sure you've seen like on your, in playing with mid journey, like you need to refine it a bit to actually get what you want. And um, there's definitely a skill to it. So that's something that we've been looking into and I'll be talking about more. I love it. I'm so excited to learn from you because I've been using uh, AI imagery for so many things, website layouts, uh, background images, um, just cool designs based off of something that comes to my mind. Like I did one from like mushrooms the other day, like, you know, I read something about the network that mushrooms create. And I was like, that would be cool to like turn that into an image. And that's what AI does for us. And now mm -hmm. all of a sudden, all these headshots, these fantastic headshots that are trending on LinkedIn, like how do I get these headshots going? So I know that you speaking at the event and teaching all of us how to be better with images in AI is going to not only change our businesses, but help us in our everyday life. So speaking of everyday life and help in the business, mm -hmm. what are some things that you use AI for every day in your businesses? Um, well, it's a good question. I um, yeah, I use I use chat. GPT almost every day, um, as I'm sure many of us kind of um, startups and, you know, business owners will do. And it's really, um, it's really interesting, I guess. Um, well, on the prompt engineering one, I was kind of actually unsure exactly what to put in a job description. So I asked our good friend chat GPT for, um, to, to help me think of a job description for the prompt engineers. And then also to help me think of the, um, the interview questions um for exactly what i should be asking them um so that'd be that'd be one example that comes top to mind but i mean um 
is really useful for everything. Developing FAQs on our website is another one. Um, I think it's it's very useful just to get different perspectives. We've also done it. Uh, I think our team has done it in um, for SEO as well to try and um, think like get different ways that people could be searching for you know what we 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 know how we use our language to talk about like AI generated product imagery, but like there's a hundred different ways of saying it, right? So um, it's good to get those examples. So I guess those would be three um, off the top of my head. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about FAQs. That's so smart. I, man, I'm going <laughs> to update go. all of my FAQs after this. Thanks for that tip, Max. I love it. <laughs> well, everyone, we hope you join us at the summit. Max, why do you think that people should consider joining a summit like this with 16 plus sessions from experts who have figured out AI? Well, I mean, again, from my personal experience, I spend a lot of time um you know going going to events listening to events um i think it's really useful just to see what um what other people who are uh, you know uh, it, you know uh, know their part of the industry really well are doing and seeing how i can apply that um to to my work yeah i agree i i always talk about just kind of skipping all of the mistakes skipping all of mm -hmm. you know the things and i love learning on my own too but just one tip from one of our speakers could really make a difference for me so I'm actually hosting this summit, this summit for selfish reasons <laughs> because I'm bringing together some of mm -hmm. my favorite people in AI and having them show me in one, two days, here we go, right? Two days, how to do all of the things that they do. And so I'm so excited to be at the summit with all of you guys. I'm so excited to learn from you. So excited to contribute as well. And I can't wait for it. So I hope that you guys uh, have found some value in Max's tips today. And I hope you'll come see him at our upcoming AI Summit. You can go to amazingathome.com forward slash AI and join us for our summit. End of May virtual summit. Get out there. There's early bird pricing right now. So don't miss out. And oh, by the way, Max has a special bonus for our VIP attendees along with the rest of our speakers. You're going to get lots and lots of great bonuses and content and material from our speakers. So thank you, Max, for being here today. And everyone, we hope to see you at the summit. Have a great day.